keep people alive. No one um, can recover when they're dead. And also tonight, overcome with overdoses. Bloomington police are now fielding an average of three calls a day over the past week. Yeah, it's happening at a time when Bloomington should be quiet because all the college kids are gone. Yeah, but as our Kevin Rayner found out tonight, the city is coming together and they're hoping to try to save more lives. Overdose is often a word that is overused, but not in Bloomington, and not at least in the last week. As of the last week, the city has had 10 overdoses and one death. Speculation now has that overdose number closer to 20. We've had a number of overdoses continue since the original reports last week. The original figure we were working with was 10 through approximately Friday. Um, those did, in fact, continue over the weekend. It is often hard to pin down. Is it alcohol? Is it heroin? Or is it spice? Well, the difficulty we have is that the majority of the overdoses that we've experienced have been on spice. And unfortunately, spice is one of those unregulated things that probably comes from overseas. And unfortunately, nobody really knows what might be inside it. Reverend Forrest Gilmore works with the poor, the hungry, and the addicted at the Shalom Center in Bloomington. So it's not just uh, what people are typically accustomed to using. And so uh, it hits them and surprises them and then, uh, in some cases, kills them. Now the main thing is to trace the problem to the source and prevent it from getting any worse. Reality is, the bad batch may just have to run its course. Just to keep people alive, no one um, can recover when they're dead. You know, and so, so that's, that's the most urgent thing, is to make sure people stay alive until we can hopefully get them into recovery. They do seem to be slowing down, so it's possible that whatever is causing them, perhaps that supply has been exhausted or uh, becoming exhausted. It's an ongoing problem here in Bloomington, dealing with overdoses. It's not, however, exclusive to Bloomington. But for now, the city's trying to find the best ways to deal with it. In Bloomington, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.